Today's video will show you how you can create a zapetto item using Z-Weave. We first start with basic garments to show you our features. Let's start. Open Z-Weave first. Let's import the zapetto avatar into Z-Weave. Go to the avatar tab and click on custom. Then click the plus button and bring in the creator base set zapetto FBX file. Double click on the icon and the avatar should be loaded in your 3D view. Now let's create a top. Click on the rectangle icon here. This is the surf making tool. Drag to create a pattern. Then select the line icon on the bottom. This is a selection tool area where you can edit surfaces. Click on one line and right click. You'll see options that says divide curve. Click on the spot where you want to make dots on the line. Then switch the dot selection tool and adjust dots to make a bodice pattern. To make a curve, right click and select a line at the very bottom. Curve editing will show. Once the front pattern is done, right click to copy and paste. Then move it to the right and start making the back pattern. I'm roughly measuring because it only has to fit on the avatar. Next, we're going to right click to mirror copy front and back patterns. Arrange the 2D patterns for 3D placement. Select the two patterns and right click. Select locating 3D front. For back, select locating 3D back. Moving on to the pants, we're going to append a sample file. Go to File, Append, and select your sample file. You can also find this under Help here and click Samples. Once the, once the append is done, resize the patterns to the petal size. Use the gizmo to move your patterns in 3D view. The next step is sewing. In the middle, you'll see a sewing icon. Here we have single sewing and multi sewing options. Right now we're going to use single sewing. Click one line and the other line that's going to be sewn together. Hit space to simulate. Fix the sewing line if knitted. Then I'm going to adjust the shape until it fits tightly on the bodice. I also want to dissect the pattern to have a little design. Go to the edit tool and select pin. Click the place where you want to mark. Then select the curve icon to make inner lines. To delete the pins, select the pin icons on the bottom of the 2D view. And select all the pins and, and press delete. Then select the inner lines that we just created and right click to scissor and sew. Resize it for design. I'm going to color the top so we can see the patterns better. Go to the fabric tab and select one of the default patterns and right click to duplicate. This will add new fabrics to your fabric library. From here, you can apply color and edit fabric textures. I'm going to make it blue. Select the small pieces to harden to give a defined fit. I'm going to right click on the middle line and create wrinkles for dynamic textures. Click on the middle line and right click to make an offset to inner lines. Give a distance of 0.1 to be close to the edge. 
Then just select the inner lines that you created. While the lines are selected, go to the Properties tab. And check Elastic. Give a strength of 200% and the ratio of 50. Repeat for the back patterns. Right now, the wrinkles are not prominent, so we are going to adjust the mesh size and fabric properties. Elongate the top a bit more because the wrinkles shrink. Press Ctrl and left mouse click for pinching. Go to Simulation tab and turn down the mesh quality to 0.8 cm, which is the smallest. And now you can see that wrinkles are showing more. Adjust inner lines for necklines. Then go to Fabric. And increase the stretch value to make draping more stiff. It gives a crispy shirt texture. Now working on the pants, repeat the process of sewing and adjusting pattern shapes with dots and line tools. To create more wrinkles on the pants, use pins to hold the shapes. Pinch the garment and hit space to pause the simulation. Then press P for the shortcut for pins and hold the surface. Repeat until you get the drapes that you like. I've made the half and the other half different to see which will look better with textures. Once it's done, let's export to FBX. Go to Files and Export FBX. Only check on Smooth and start the rest of the process in Blender and Unity. Thank you for watching the video. Leave questions and comments below.